guys, welcome back to the Big Bass Dreams channel. I'm Jay, back on location. I got my buddy John here. We are out chasing crappies today. It's a little bit different. We're chasing big bass dreams usually, but today we're chasing big crappie dreams. We're out here chasing slabs today. Big old crappies. Stay tuned. Hopefully we can catch some slabzillas for you guys. Let's get it. Crops. Oh, dude, look at that. They are thick. They are stacked on that. They are stacked. So I'll let you get up here and do your thing, Jay, and so the some casts. The, the game plan was to, we are going to drive around. We are going to use our side imaging to find these trees that are holding these fish. So we did that. We found the trees. Then we came back around with the live scope. Now we're pinpointing these trees, and we're just going to drop right on top of them. And they should be biting. John was out here the other day. He caught a few, and we're back at it chasing some slabzillas. Bait we're using today, I've got a little 132nd ounce with just a plastic shad on it. I've got a fluorocarbon leader because this water is pretty clear and I've got an egg sinker tied to it to help get down there faster. So I've got a little sinker pegged and that's my rig. So we're closing in on these fish. They're about 35. Well, there's actually a couple piles. How many were there? Three? There should be two or three piles. Three. I'm seeing two now. We're just going to drop straight down on them. Luckily, today is not too windy. And the closer I get to it, I'll, I'll narrow down our field of view. Right now, I'm at 75 feet out, so we can see them. Once we get on top of them, we'll drop it down to probably 20 to 25 feet. That way, we can just drop straight down. We can have a clear view of it. And you'll catch them. There's a big freaking bass swimming around this crappie too. Oh my god. Right. We gotta warm up with the small stacks and then we can go to the flapjacks. The flapjacks? The flapjacks. Those are the big ones. Oh yeah. Check it out. The first, the first fish of the day. I don't think he's gonna keep, but we're striking blood. This guy looks like he's been caught maybe a couple times. But that's it, that's what we're looking for guys, some crappies. It's a nice little eight inch, pretty. So keepers out here are 10 inches. And John, did you look up how many we can keep? Is it 25? I believe it's 25, I didn't look it up. But... They are delicious little nuggets, little delicious morsels, white meat. Some good fillets off of them. Always. Oh, Woo! That was something pretty darn hard. That one's a little bit bigger. Hey, John, I think we might got a keeper here. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to pull off the measuring stick. There we go. That'll probably be real close to 10. Pull out the stick. Yeah, she hits 10. All right, we got our first keeper. Turn the live oil on. Fill her up. Throw her on in. My dog. <laughs> Why do they hate us? It's so frustrating seeing hundreds of fish and you can't catch one of them. John brought some troll poop out here. We'll show you guys what that is here in a sec. Sparkle nibbles, AKA troll poop. Pull it away, pull it away, and there she is. All right, there's on the roll. That's another good, there's another good one. We'll, we'll put that one on the, put that one on the board. She should be real close to 10. Nine and three quarters. Nine and three quarters. Hey! Whoa! <laughs> oh man. Right, we're gonna we're gonna get this one back. Free Willy. 
amateur hour over here. John's got himself quite a mess. What What are you doing? Well, I guess so. Uh, oh, that helps you catch the fish, right? Yeah, yeah. Because they get, they think you're not paying attention because you got a big old bird's nest. Exactly. And then they'll hit this is to what, try to get your crappie troll poop out. What not to do. What not to do right here. So while you're catching fish, I'm going to go over here and tend to uh, my workstation. <laughs> This is why you don't fish with the line that comes with the reel. Because you got a mono special right here. Yeah, that's right. So since we drifted off that spot, since we caught that fish, I put my my live scope back on 75 feet out so we can find them. And uh, they're about 50 feet out right now, so we're gonna slowly cruise up to them, but you can see on the graph, all those fish, it's insane. There's probably at least a hundred right there. See them all right there. And then there's a small pod here. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to get these guys right there. Stacked. Hopefully there's some big ones in there. Ready, I'm gonna flip them in. That's a good one. That'll keep. They're slowly getting bigger. <laughs> hey! Yay! Right in the roof of the mouth. Right in the roof. Raise the roof. All right, let's put it on the board. That one out a little bit. That one will go 10 and a quarter. 10 and a quota. Another one for the box. Boom. Oh. It's like the game of cat and mouse. You gotta constantly be pulling that bait away from those fish for them to bite it. It's like you take a toy away from a kid, they want it even more. <laughs> These fish, they want, they want it chasing. They want to chase the bait. You just sit in their face like, mm -hmm. but once that thing starts getting away, it's like natural instinct. They just, oh, I gotta have that. I gotta get it. Pretty one. What colors on that? Cool. Definitely not a keeper, but we're gonna hit this pile a little bit longer and then probably head to a different one. John's the one that's gonna be keeping them, so I can't catch them all. <laughs> you can catch them all. Gladly keep them. Uh, so I'm using this big, I think it's 11 or 12 foot rod. So you can stick it into places like if you're fish in tight quarters you can just stick it into a dock or stick it into a tree jam or if you're just fishing outside the boat it gets you out a little bit further away from the boat to help you not spook the fish as much that's a beautiful one so one thing we didn't mention too is we're on the hunt for the lake record the catch and release lake record which actually doesn't even stand today so there's a bunch of rules you have to abide by but we're gonna get this guy on the scale. We're gonna keep him in the live well. We'll definitely release him, but I think this guy might do it for the lake record out here. This is probably 13 inch. Pretty. This is the new rig that we're trying to catch him on. It's called the Detangle. Sometimes this happens. And they ain't gonna bite it. Trust me. All right, we are we are marking a bunch of fish. A whole bunch of fish. Oh, oh he, he was in. Smoked a... you, dude. You were. Oh, we're not ready. We're not ready. We're not worthy. Hey, at least they're biting it now. Like. So that little pile that we were just fishing, they weren't as active as we'd like them to be. So we're just going to move out to this next little tree. <laughs> Y'all, we are in a mega school. We found another tree across the lake. 
This one definitely not gonna keep, but John just got it big. And did you measure that one? Uh, ten and a half. We're gonna keep at it. This tree is stacked. These fish are active, so we're gonna put some in the box. Oh my gosh! You freaking crushed it. This is a good one. Putting in the work out here, found this spot. This is a tub. Man, look at that. Woo on the on the uh, on the mega bass head dong, Chad. Little quarter ounce ball head. Doing the job. John's turn. <laughs> Dude, look at this giant. Oh! Swang him in, swang him in. <laughs> Can we get to that? Swang them in, swang them in. Y'all, this is what it's all about. If you have any kids, crappie fishing, take some kids crappie fishing, it's a blast. I mean, I'm a 34 year old man and I'm just giddy as all get out right now. This is a blast. Once you find them, get on them. Some good old fashioned fun. found another tree, made a 70 foot cast to it. We'll see what we can pull out of it. That's awesome. I don't know if it's a bass or a crappie. It's a pretty big bass, y'all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Got him. All right, well, crappie fishing, catching a nice big bass. Not, <laughs> not a bad little bonus. Wow. She sucked it down. Little has on. Oh my gosh, I'm barely hooked too. Cool. Little bonus, not what we're targeting today, but you know what? Big crappie dreams, big bass dreams, it's all. It's all the same. Yeah. We out here. Cool. That was fun. My dog. Oh. You're on a down. I see that, but it seems like coming out. I'll just inspect it. Oh. There he is. Is it a big one? Might be a big one. Crappie. Oh my oh god. god. Oh yeah. 
Ooh, another big in. These are solid. These are good eaters. You're gonna have a good fish fry, Johnny. Beautiful, beautiful black crappie. It's got a little yellow to it too. I like that. I like colors. Oh, oh no. Oh. We got the tree. I don't want to pull the spot out. Drop those pee weights down. <laughs> oh, no. I was talking about the limb, not your rod. $35 special. Oh my god, the thing just exploded. <laughs> hey, at least you saved your bait. <laughs> so you get one two at the same time? Oh my god, oh, you lost your bait. <laughs> well, say, not to throw anybody under the bus, I'm not going to say any names. <laughs> going on. Oh! Yeah, that guy right underneath his jaw. A good one. Oh, Keith. Maybe. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not a keeper. That's going to do it for today out here with my buddy John. Thanks for tuning in to the Big Bass Dreams channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the big crappie dreams we were chasing today. This is definitely going to go back, but we got enough in the live well for a nice dinner. We're going to call it a day. Make sure you guys go and follow my channel, Jay Gone Fishing, and we'll see you on the next one.